Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. If you're familiar with my channel, you might remember the Zake. This is the M18 from Jojo Lapai. This is the M4 from Zake. Look familiar? Both products come with a screen protector pre-installed at the factory, front and back. Both products have a 2.4 inch TFT color screen. Both products come with 64 gig of internal storage and a TF card slot for an additional 128 gigs. In addition to being a different color, the speaker placement on the M4 is on the bottom and the speaker on the M18 is located at the top. Both products have three physical buttons. The top button is for volume up, the middle button is for volume down, and the bottom button is for power. The M4 has its charging port on the side, whereas the M18 has its charging port on the bottom. Both products support wired analog headsets, and the M4 has its reset port on the bottom, whereas I couldn't find any reset port on the M18. The user interface is the same. The applications are the same. The experience is the same. I'm not going to go over all the reasons that made the M4 bad. Instead, I'm going to tell you how to get the most out of this player. The M18 ships with these earbuds. I thought they were very comfortable. And they give you extra silicone tips of various sizes for a custom fit. They do not fall out, and they actually sound pretty good. It is not a braided wire. It's not a tangle-free cord, but for bundled earbuds, you could do a lot worse. They include a USB-C charging cable. You can also attach this directly to a Windows PC where the M18 appears as an external drive. From there, you can drag and drop music directly to the device. Sorry, Mac users, that doesn't work for you. The M18 does allow you to insert your own 128 gig TF card. However, the experience of accessing this card is so painfully slow, I strongly encourage you to pretend that it doesn't exist and you rely strictly on the 64 gigabyte internal storage. As long as you do not insert a TF card into the external storage slot and rely solely on the 64 gigabytes of internal memory, performance is actually pretty good. I'll click on music and it comes right up with all songs. I'll click on that option, and there's my track list. Now I want you to take note that it's listing one out of 4,001 tracks. Now the first track doesn't really count, it's the shuffle all option, which is an option I do appreciate. However, I have installed 12,000 tracks on this device, and it's telling me there are only 4,000. That's the maximum limit. If I choose Shuffle All, it's going to shuffle among the 4,000 it has in this list. I'm fairly certain that all the songs are accessible if you go through these other options, like if you go through the Artist option or the Album option, you can find all the music that's on there. But my use case is I just want to randomize everything and listen to all 12,000 tracks. That's not happening. To get the most out of this player, I suggest creating a playlist of your favorite 4,000 songs and only installing those to the internal memory. If you burn through all 4,000 tracks and you're still hungry for more music, you can listen to the FM radio and it does work pretty well. However, it does require a wired headset to be installed because it uses it as an antenna. I just want to be clear, I do not recommend this device but maybe you got one as a gift or maybe you stumbled upon one in a landfill. However you happen to be in possession of one of these, at least now you know what you're in for and how to get the most out of it. Two out of five stars.